Alright. Oops. Oh god. Yeah, I can skip it because I've beaten the game. Oh no, I'm supposed to have- oh there we go, zero hearts. I'm supposed to have zero hearts by the end of this sequence, and then that'll give me a heart refresh when I start as Alucard. And I did manage to do that correctly, which is nice. Skip this. Now on the Xbox Live version, it has less loading time, so that's why it's the preferred version for speedruns, but what can I do? I'm still just learning and just practicing right now, so... Shield dashing is one of the most important parts of a speedrun for this game because it's like your primary movement, so you want to make sure to have that on point. Which mine isn't like, you know, 100%, but it's fine. It's good enough. Especially for, for me right now. Alright. There are no zombies in this room, so you can just shield dash away. Oh. All right. Level up, you can't avoid it, you can't skip it. But you can skip this cutscene, so death, go ahead and take my shit. I give you permission. Now I'm not gonna have a shield to shield dash whip, so I'm just gonna have to back dash the normal way. But good thing like Alucard is so strong and he doesn't need a sword. At all. Like you can beat the game without a sword. Alright. Fuck. See, you have to turn around in order to backdash, and I just walked out the room by mistake. It happens. Alright. Crap. Not good. Alright, this is fine. And that was intentional. Got a shield rod, so now I can shield dash. Oh, I need that dagger. Alright. And that guy will never touch you as long as you move fast enough. So there's no need to avoid crap. Oop, that that was a mistake. Alright, first boss. Oh my god, I messed up the input. Great. I don't know how I'm not getting the input for it. Whatever, I'll have to do it the shoddy way. And I'm on my way. I believe this is the right way. Yep. Oh, 
Just come down here, jump to avoid your uh, fall lag, and hit lag. Whenever you get hurt, you're gonna be in a sort of stun, and you can just jump out of it to cancel it. Oh my god, that was bad. I guess now that I'm trying to rush, it's a lot harder. Um, I'm gonna stop by over here actually for a, for a save point, because I'm gonna die. I'm not pro enough yet. I actually shouldn't have hit save, I should have just, uh... But that's fine, whatever. Alright, flea man. I can skip this cutscene with Maria. Yep. And their pattern is random, they can just be really annoying sometimes. Alright. Wait, I think the uh... No, it's not there. I need the, the stopwatch, actually. Stopwatch item. Okay, there we go. And not this. Alright. Crap, wrong way. My bad. Down this way. And I want to hold my shield up when I uh, pass that chick because she throws a fireball sometimes. So if you have your shield up, it doesn't matter. She'll never hit you. Alright, now these guys I have a problem with because I can't use, um, Soul steal very well, so I'm just gonna equip to a sword to get rid of them. But what would you you would do is uh, summon a spirit, and then you'd be able to go right through them. But I'm not that pro yet. Once again, I'm still practicing. All right. Now we should be at the outer wall. Yep. And we're gonna get, approach our second boss fight very soon. That was too close. Alright. And just like that, second boss fight right here. So now I'm going to use the stopwatch to stop him dead in his tracks, the doppelganger, and I'm just going to punch him to death. And there's nothing he can do about it. There we go. Ignore all health upgrades and just GTFO. And that room turns you around, so I have to then turn around again in order to keep back dashing. Oops. And the elevator doesn't work right now, so I have to go up the manual way, which is fine. Oh, wasting time. Alright, these guys I have to kill, because they get in my way. Oh my god. Okay. I have no quarrel with you, sir.
Now there's a little glitch here that I want to practice. Ooh, I almost did it, but I messed up. Basically, you're supposed to fall through the floor as soon as, uh, as soon as that happens. But I didn't do it all. I think I was supposed to hold back dash for whatever reason. All right. Now I'm gonna get my ring, the garnet, and I'm gonna just turn into a dog and jump up here. Yes. Garnet, sweet. Now. I'm gonna wanna come back. Fuck, wrong way. Back through this uh, marble gallery. And once again, let me just put on my short sword just for the. Alright. Literally, it's just a matter of saving seconds. Doing it the other way. You're just literally just saving the time you would spend to kill uh, the planet. Alright. There we go. Okay, it just shields it, even though it's made out of leather, but that's fine. Yeah, we eat those. Alright. And punching is faster than uh, than swinging a sword. You can see the the animation is slower for it, but I just have the sword on because I'm too lazy to take it off at the moment. All right, turn into a dog. Oh wait, now I gotta wait for the time to strike for basically one minute to pass. So in one minute, that thing is gonna open up. Oh, there we go. All right. So, I'm gonna run, jump, oh. Oops. Oh my, it didn't work. Is it a running jump I'm supposed to do? Or it, do I jump and then turn into a dog? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna pick this up just for good measure, cause... Alright. But yeah, the, all the, everything adds up in a speed run, so me not shield dashing is gonna... Kinda, that would shave off so much time in my, in my run. Oh my god. I'm just gonna freeze these guys, cause... Cause yeah, fuck them. And I'm gonna ignore that. We're going right to the Colosseum. Which has my favorite music, but it's probably the hardest part of the run. And because of that, I'm gonna go save. This boss fight is pretty strict, actually. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was just practicing the input for it. It's hold up for one second and then, uh, quarter circle, well, semicircle down. Alright, these guys, they can't hit you, so you just ignore them. Alright, that guy can't hit me either. Usually those guys jump, yeah, okay. Alright, now this is probably the hardest part of the run. So I'm just gonna put the pot roast on just for the hell of it in case. Alright, let's see how efficiently I can do this. I'm gonna want to skip this dialogue too and stand right here. 
There we go, nice. Oh my god, please no. He's dead. Alright. That wasn't terrible. Oh no. And you want to try and get out of there as fast as possible so the dialogue doesn't catch you. Form of Mist, now I'm going to use the library card and GTFO. Teleport to the library. Awesome, okay. So this run is going decent for my first run ever. And I'm going to put the shield on. This part is going to require some uh, timing on my part. So I'm going to save state here. Because once again, they just practice. Why so serious? Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I messed that up so hard. Alright. Basically, what I'm supposed to do is uh, turn from a dog into mist and then let that enemy push me. Yes, I made it. Okay. And it's, the damage boosts me into, the, uh, into over here. And now I get a fairy card. And with this, I can get infinite money, which is going to allow me to decimate the rest of the game. Alright, so now, what I am to do is equip the fairy, and she's going to have a dialogue with me, but before that happens, I enter, Thank you for giving and I cancel it, and now, what do I do? I go to sell gem, and now, I equip it.